Night Farm, let me tell you about the most exclusive country in the world. This country has never been conquered by any other country in the world. It's so exclusive that it's isolated from the rest of the world for over six decades. And it was the last nation in the world to have the television. All because its culture and nature are incredibly protected. They have no fast food, no skyscrapers, no giant malls and supermarkets, only one international airport. And even more crazily, this country has no traffic lights. And it was also voted as one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Not only the most beautiful, but also the safest and healthiest country to be in. Where any type of killing of animals is banned, where smoking and plastics are banned, where there is super low crime rate. So how can a country limit the number of tourists and how can it be so sustainable while not focusing on economy? I promise you that by the end of this video you will either want to visit that country or actually live in it. But first, let's see if you can guess what country I'm talking about. Is it A. Nepal B. Costa Rica C. Bhutan D. Mongolia E. Georgia 3, 2, 1, Bhutan Welcome to Bhutan. For starters, it isn't called the land of the thunder dragon for nothing. With its really small size, I mean it's literally sandwiched between the two largest countries in the world, you wouldn't even notice it on the map. You'd think it's very easy for bigger countries to colonize Bhutan, right? But it is one of the very few countries in the world that has never been colonized. I don't know about you, but that is just badass. With no big buildings, supermarkets and fast food chains, some may call them underdeveloped, but they couldn't be any more wrong, because Bhutan is not trying to follow any other countries. They isolated from the rest of the world for over 60 years. They only opened their doors to visitors in the 1970s. And that is how it is one of the very few nations in the world that have unspoiled culture and nature. And speaking of visitors, remember when I told you only a few tourists come to Bhutan every year? That's because the government itself limits the number of tourists so they can preserve the country more. It is so exclusive that they used to accept only 30,000 visitors per year and they slowly raise the number to control it. That is less than the number of Disneyland visitors in a single day. Speaking of tourism, here is a WOW FACT about Bhutan. You'll be surprised to know that because of its location, the country's only international airport is actually one of the most dangerous airports in the world. So there are only eight pilots allowed to land here. Now, you know how your country measures the wealth you have by gross national product? Bhutan doesn't need that, because their country is so unique that they care more about their people's happiness. So they came up with gross national happiness. Something the rest of the world has never thought of. Just listen to what their former king had to say. GNH is the philosophy that acts as our national conscience. It reminds us to strive for and work for the happiness and the well-being of every single Bhutanese at all times. Now to more impressive reasons why Bhutan is called the happiest country in the world. In Bhutan, you will barely see any homeless people. Every Bhutanese has free access to basic education and healthcare. This country has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Smoking in all public places in the entire country is banned and even plastics are banned. And it doesn't stop here. In Bhutan, it is illegal to kill anything, including animals. 
So you will never find a single slaughterhouse in the entire country. They only import meat. And another inspiring thing that only the country of Bhutan has managed to do is to be the one and only carbon negative country in the world. It has an actual law that states over half of the country should be covered with forests. This makes it the cleanest and greenest country of all and perhaps the healthiest country country to live in. Night fam, it's beautiful how Bhutan managed to protect and preserve its culture. In the world where culture and happiness became secondary to fast-paced progress and money, may Bhutan be the voice of all the people from all around the world who want their country to be pure and cultured. Because truth is, if there were more countries in the world like Bhutan, the world would most definitely be a better place.